Good morning from Chesington. I'm outside Jumanji land and doesn't the coast look great? I can't wait to check this out next month. So I'm here today to see the final updates and to see what needs to be done before it opens next month. I can't wait to check it out. That doesn't it look great. As you can see by the site then, there's still a lot of groundwork to be done before it opens next month. I love what Chesington's done with the train design. It looks really good. Just zooming in now, give you a closer shot. You've got lots of work people in there doing the final preparations before this land opens next month. I can't wait to check it out, as I said. It's going to be great. I'm going to head over to the front of the park now and show you what's around the other side. Over at the front end of the park now, Mandrill Mayhem is not testing, unfortunately, at the moment, but I'll check out later, see if it is. World of Jumanji, when it opens, will have three new rides. One of the flat rides on offer then is going to be Ostrich Stampede. It's really well themed, just like the whole of the area. It's progressing really well, as you can see. Lots of workers on the site at the moment trying to get it ready for the opening day. Here we go, we finally got a bit of ride testing footage here for you. Oh, there we go. The other ride in the area is Mamba Strike and it looks great just like all of the other rides in the area. And here's a bit of footage of it testing right now. Unfortunately I'm around the front side of the park so I can't get any actual front facing shots of it which is a bit annoying. But yeah it looks good. Really well themed just like the whole area of course as well. But of course the signature attraction here is Mandrill Mayhem. This B&M launch wing coaster looks absolutely great. The reverse spike up there looks very intimidating for the younger ones. And that's basically as much of an update I can give you. The area opens Monday 15th of May. I'm going to be there open day to check it out. There's a lot of work still to be done here though, so I can't wait to check it out next month. Let's not monkey around, eh? Let's get Jumanji Land open ASAP. Going into Wild Asia now, I might get on a couple of rides. Cobra only a five minute wait, I think I'll give it a go for that. If you come to these parks in the week, you skip all them two hour queues and hour queues and just get straight on the ride. Just got off Cobra then, yeah those type of rides don't really age well, they have a bit of a jolt to them so they're not really my favourite type of thing but I thought I'd give it a go anyway, it's only a five minute wait, why not? It's a shame the weather isn't warmer because you can put your feet in here and cool off. Dragon's Fury is a five minute wait again. Let's get on there. I quite like Dragon's Fury. It's quite a fun coaster. It's quite forceful if you go on it on a wet day as well. It's really good. The only thing with Dragon's Fury, it's got one of the noisiest lift hills going. Had a really good ride there on Dragon's Fury, it's running really well, really intense. Apart from that though, it's snappy, it's intense, it's a good family coaster. It's time to have a ride on the Vampire then, I love this coaster. This ride's still got it then, after all these years it still looks the part. This is easily still one of the best themed queue lines in the UK in my opinion. All the horror music around here reminds me of 13 at Alton Towers. Anyone for a game of chess? Oh no, we've got to abandon all hope. The vampire's about to strike. Here he is then, star of the show. One of the best animatronics in the UK. He looks great. So they're only filling half the train for whatever reason. I'm not sure why that is, but it doesn't really matter on a, on a quiet day, does it really? Just had a good ride then on Vampire. Yeah, they're only half filling the chain, trains. I'm not sure why that is, whether it's because it's a, a less busy day or something like that. But yeah, it was a good ride. Um, it's getting very jolty in its old age. Um, I'm not sure really what can be done about that because it's an aging coaster. I'm not sure how long this roller coaster is going to last, if I'm honest there. 
Yeah, as you can see, they're sending empty trains out. I'm not really sure why. There's quite a big queue in their building now. Um, it's only a 10 minute wait or whatever, but surely they can fill the train still. Some of the seats then on the Vampire have a bit of a rattle on, but I really enjoy it still. All right, it's time to get on Safari then. It's a walk-on. Not one of my favourite ones. I mean, if you compare this to the Animal Kingdom one, it's not a patch on it. Wouldn't expect that anyway, but yeah. Let's see if they've made any changes this year to it. I remember in here, when I first came in here, there were shows and everything. Now it's completely abandoned, no one around. Here we go, it's time for a bouncy safari. Lots of drafts over there, don't they look great? Bit of a bumpy ride day. Or, to use their scientific name, Camelopardalis. We think giraffes are some of the most amazing creatures on the planet. They can live up. Oh, we're going into the cave now. Got my hot chocolate then from Costa, 3.44 with a Merlin discount. Going into the gift shop, see what they've got available. Lots of cuddly toys around here then, various prices. Look at him, don't he look great? If you're a fan of the Gruffalo, these are 20 pound. It's 20 pound then for any of these. Or a nice Chiston branded jar here for 20 pounds. He looks quite nice. Or a not so nice vampire bear, I don't really like those really. We have a Dragon's Fury resin here for eight pounds. He looks quite nice. You've got your pass holder cups here, reduced to seven pound if you like one of them. And lastly, if you're a fan of pin badges, they've got lots here for £6 each. You've got Scorpion Express over here, Dragon's Fury, and the Vampire. Right, going to start heading out of the park now, but before I do that, I'm going to have a look at the animals. And I don't mean me either. Oh, look at him down there, don't he look lovely? I'm obsessed. Well, Over here now, look at these. Absolutely stunning. Having a nice play, having a nice cool down. And there we have it, that's my day at Chessington. I hope you enjoyed the Jumanji Land updates. I tried to get as clear shots as I possibly could. Unfortunately, Mandrill Mayhem wasn't testing today, which was a bit of a shame. The area is coming along great. It just needs a lot of groundwork still to be done, so I can't wait to check that out soon. I can't wait to get back to the area Monday, May the 15th for the opening day of Jumanji Land. Monday 15th of May then, I'm going to get back and edit that video and get it up the same day for you to enjoy. So make sure you hit that subscribe, you don't want to miss that. That'll be on the channel straight away. See you in the next theme park top 10. Let's ride and roll.